Let's ask Ajay Kumar that question. Because you, everyone's seen that public play out of Sachin Pilot's rebellion, which was quashed, he came back. Uh, now, at some point in time, the young man expects to be chief minister. You've promised him, okay, let's win this election, then we'll see. If you do scrape through, but you've got this kind of a fractious majority, what happens to Sachin, Dr. Kumar? Look, uh, Rahul, I think uh, the process will be that where the MLS sit, and you've seen it in, uh, you've seen it in Himachal. Uh, I think, Mr. Whether, and I can see uh, Rajdeep uh, trying to suppress a smile, but I'm telling you seriously. No, that, no, you are not willing for a generational change. You see, y'all are, y'all are, y'all will be so happy if you win the, if you win one or two states, you'll forget you've got to win the big war. Mr. Modi is looking at the big war in every state. Y'all are looking at short-term gains sometimes. So, so, so one sec, one sec. So, so what do you expect in your scenario? Is that Mr. Gelot led the election, and the situation is where, just in case for the situation, is that what do you expect? Give, more space, give, more, space Rajdeep, 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 give Rajdeep, more space Rajdeep, to the Rajdeep, Rajdeep, younger man. Give more space to the younger man. He was your leader in 2018. You virtually discarded him. You came back from 21 seats. But, you know, Dr. Kumar, may I ask you a question on that grounds? If these numbers hold true, then on Sunday, you must be booking a resort. But are you also scared that somebody from your own party must, might be booking a parallel resort? <laughs> <laughs> so my question is, uh, why don't you ask this question, Preeti? You seem to be so protective of the BJP. Won't they be booking a resort? So how much protective of the BJP? Once I, once I can I complete, you guys either please. let me speak and complete. Or please don't keep, because everyone keeps interrupting. So let me complete my sentences before you all jump in. The first sure, question is, ahead. how many times How many times have you asked this question? With the, can we not break the BJP? So will not BJP take their guys even if they're losing to the resort? So those are, you know, those are fantasies which we continue to create on a TV discussion to keep the discussions going along. The simple now, those have been may, I, may I interrupt, Dr. Kumar? Uh, uh, Dr. But, Kumar but, but, those are fantasies which have been fueled by reality. You and I both know how many uh, days there was a resort booked in Manisar, sir. So come on. And then yeah, thereafter. So, so, so let me complete. So let me complete. Please. It, it's, the, it's the abyss of politics when we don't charge the guys who resort to the ensuring that democracy gets subverted and no questions asked to them. Nobody is asked a question on how does BJP continue to destroy. No, first question. It's an important question. So whether people are there to protect the, and if you're taking people to ensure the MLS are protected, you're trying to protect democracy, but the but the but the anti-socials are trying to break the party go uh, unscathed, which is an interesting uh, discussion. But the most important, Rajdi, what you said was, you know, it's fine on TV debates to say young people that people. The question is, who's got the numbers? Who are the MLAs with? And if you don't have those MLAs, then you, would you say that? Suppose let's imagine I like you like somebody else. Okay, and you say you should have a generational shift. But what is a true democracy if the numbers are with X, Y, or Z? And that's what happened in uh, Himachal. So let no, but your challenge, no, I, I'm not denying, you make a fine point, sir, but your challenge, and in all states, I'm just looking ahead at the moment, and I'm sure Rahul wants to move on to other states. My limited point is, any political party in the BJP, to some extent, has been able to do that, not always successfully, not in Rajasthan, for example, is to effect generational change. When you do that, it can be disruptive, as it was with Yogi Adityanath in Uttar Pradesh, uh, as it was with the Pushkar Dhami in Uttarakhand. But it can also bring you rewards in the long run. The point I'm making is eventually when you have to fight a leader like Mr. Modi, as you will in 2024, even if you win a couple of states in a two days from now, as you did in 2018, you will find it difficult unless you can script a new narrative. And a new narrative sometimes requires a generational change. Pradeep Gupta made the point to me five years ago. It stuck in my head. If you had made Mr. Sindhya in Madhya Pradesh and Mr. Pilot at some stage in Rajasthan, who knows? At least you would have new faces to uh, to take to the public. No, no. So, so look. Uh, I just want to add my little bit. What about uh, uh, Raven Reddy and the team which was uh, uh, creating the hype? Exactly. That, that is why so, the change. Yeah. Is. Exactly. It's helping you. It's no, helping no, one you. Sec, one sec. No, one sec. You need see. This is the problem. It is not a Jandu bomb where you pick up a Raven Reddy solution and put it in uh, Rajasthan. <laughs> you see, you always have a you know cookie cutter approach to Rajdeep to your solutions. What works in Chhattisgarh may not work in Telangana. Fair so, enough. Do you think you want to prop up a younger face? But Ashok so, Gehlot, sir. Achha, we, you know, we could okay. be, we could be counting a lot of chicken which haven't hatched just yet. 
So let the chicken hatch because they're already talking about generation. Ah, Rajasthan is. Ah, अभी कुछ hatch hatch नहीं हुआ. Let it hatch.